Hi, Joyce. Yes, yeah, Seattle, as you know, was setting tourism records every year prior to the pandemic for really a decade before the bottom dropped out, which is why there is some optimism about these new numbers. Names of countries and names of cities. If you want to chart a trend. We've had people from all 50 states here. You can do it at Metzger Maps. You meet people from all over the country and all over the world. A Pike Place staple. Yeah, south side up. That draws people from all over the globe. That was the world as it was known in 1154. Walker Willingham says visitors have returned. Recreation, education, decoration, vacation. All those things. Seattle's beautiful. Tall Aharon of Boston is one of them. I really love traveling, and so as long as you're staying safe, I think it's reasonable to travel again. Visit Seattle says hotel occupancy was up month to month in February, 11% in downtown, 8% countywide, and sits at 56% across King County today. And big numbers of tourists are scheduled to come, with 296 cruise calls this year, 43,000 daily flight passengers already, and even an April anime conference with 24,000 attendees booked. Oh, this is freedom. Allison Russell. <laughs> of Kenmore Air is ready for business to take flight. The low, we were down to about 10 people. Canadian border changes this week mean the resumption of trips to Vancouver Island and getting back to pre-2020 staffing levels. We can get all the way back to, you know, to what we normally are by the end of this summer. That's, that's a huge win for us. Tourists will also be the talk tomorrow in Seattle when the city council discusses a resolution to add a couple of bucks to every hotel room stay, a pool of money that would go to attracting more visitors. Yes, Seattle may have hit a bump in the road, but there are those in the industry who believe it won't take long for tourists to get it. Don't put that in there. Back on the map. And keep in mind, those hotel numbers are nowhere close to the 2018, 2019 levels that we saw here in the city of Seattle. And really the, the biggest problem right now, according to everybody that we talked today, are fuel prices, because ultimately, if that trend line continues, it may keep people closer to home this summer. But that's the story as we know it now, live here at Lake Union in Seattle. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.